going on everybody happy monday evening hopefully everybody had some good sales today so i thought my sump pump was uh was fixed it just went off so hopefully it doesn't go off if it does uh i might have to go really fast or show the um the thrifting stuff tomorrow but so we've again that having the chat Adam was first. How's it going, Catherine? <clears throat> Scott, Jess, Sandys, Deborah. How's it going? I Deborah, I read your comments. Thanks. Deborah said she never watched me for a long time. I never ever thought I'd see him buy ladies' jeans. Yeah, that's true. Brad Neckerson, how's it going, Big Brother? Daniel Small, Catherine. So it looks like Jennifer had five today. Nice. Brad Neckerson had three. Yeah, it's getting crazy. It's freezing here now. It's snowing. I saw the East Coast got flooded. Sunshine News had her first sale today. Nice. Hey, Glenn. David Dobbs, what's going on? All right. So I want to preface tonight with I am no expert. This is what I do. Uh, if there's anything I could do better, look for. Please let me know. But I thought I'd share with you kind of the top, I want to say top three categories, but these are the things I do and I look for now as I go into the thrift store. Um, you guys know about some of them already, so I'll kind of brush over them. But kind of what I learned, not only thrifting, but also wholesale and liquidation stuff. Uh, just as you read manifests are the same as going to a thrift store and seeing those same brands on the shelf. On the roads again, what's up? Hey, Darren. So three categories that I kind of look for. There's more than three things I do, but uh, we can just touch on three tonight. Scott L. picked up a liquidation lot for 221. A few Nintendo Switch games. Nice. What's up? It's cool. D, D Maze, what's up? Man, Adam's SUV turned off. Oh, boy. Deborah, I sold one when I was at the post office. My timing isn't the best. Benji, what's up? Okay, so I'm going to start with my first one. Probably my favorite when I started with was electronics. So a couple things to look for when I look at electronics. Uh, that's probably my favorite place to go, either looking on liquidation.com or uh, uh, liquidation. I'll go to electronics first. So learn the big brands, right? Sony, Philips, Panasonic, Samsung. Um, definitely if you see the big name brands like that, look them up, look up anything from, uh, DVDs, VCRs, etc. So I'd look those up. We'll go. So I'm going to go through the, the top things I look for. And then in that category, I'm going to go through what to avoid in that, uh, electronics. Again, this is all my experience. Uh, the last category is going to be, uh, it's still highly experimental. So I'll just preface that. Darren, thanks for the super chat. Thanks, buddy. All right. What? Really? Okay. All right. So the other thing is old electronics, like cassette players, CD players. So I picked this one up here. Phillips, so I don't but some of these, if you look at the model numbers, they sell pretty well for about 40 to 50 bucks. Um, but definitely like cassette players I look for. Uh, phones do okay, depending on the models. What else do I look for? Let's see. Hold on. Upstairs. I thought she was coming down, but she decided not to. So, yeah. I thought she was coming down here, but she decided not to. Let me open up this door, too. And my sump pump's not kicking on. So I know that's not good. 
All right. So yeah, big uh, electronic item or small electronics. So yeah, uh, cassette players, CD players. Uh, look at getting like if you have a pair of headphones. I always keep headphones near me. When you have those old electronics, pick those up as well as uh, I have a tape somewhere. Cassette tape. I always pick one up to to test things. Computer products like Wi-Fi routers. Look for big, just big name brands. Learn about computer products as you see certain things. Uh, look for those like a. I think it's Asus. A S U S. Those routers, if you can find the right ones, sell for a lot of money. Uh, gaming items. So learn the big name gaming items like PlayStation, Xbox, uh, and then learn the different model numbers of it. Right. You know that PS4 is the most recent as well as uh, Xbox One. Uh, and then any high-end electronics. I learned about a lot of high-end electronics that I when I started out with Liquidation.com, like Sennheiser headphones. Um, trying to think what other high-end headphones. A lot of headphones are pretty high-end. So if you under, look at uh, those type of high-end headphones. But again, there's also the downside electronics. So if you think about... Uh, they're big name brands. There's also low name brands that you want to avoid, and you'll come to learn them, like Emerson, Apex. Uh, those are like VCRs. I saw one today, Venture. Never heard of them. I looked it up. It was probably where I didn't even find any. Uh, no, yeah. So no name electronic sports games. So Madden, NHL, any NBA games, any sports games. There's certain ones that are worth some money, like the when they stopped making NCAA football. Uh, I forget what year that was. Was it 14? So if you find any football, I think it's 2014. But very rarely will a sports game uh, have value. So be careful when you purchase. If you're going for video games, certain video games do well, certain do not. So keep that in mind. Uh, and the bad thing about electronics, as you all know about, is testing. So I took a chance, and I bought this. This didn't work. I think... Uh, I'm going to get a CD cleaner. You know how you get those CDs that supposedly clean the lens? But every time I put a CD in here, it airs out. So I don't know if I can get that to work, but testing. So the bad thing about electronics, you have to test it. Most of the time, I test for power, and I will put that in the listing based on how well I can test it. So always test your electronics. Charlie, go to the wild game? That's awesome. Nintendo Switch games do sell fast. That is true, Scott. Um, all right. So the next thing I go to, and this is kind of my second high-end, not high-end, but section I go to is toys. So I recently started getting into board games, but it depends on the board games. Uh, certain board games do really well. Certain sell really fast. You just have to be careful. Weight and um, how quickly they sell. So board games, always look up board games. There's certain ones I look for, and I think I'm going to start compiling a list of things. So there's certain board games that I know sell well, certain ones that don't. Parts and repair on some broken, that's true. Um, the other thing, okay, anything sealed. So if you see any toys that are sealed, definitely give them a look. And again, they could be crappy, but always look at sealed items, at least for toys and board games. I picked up a Simpsons Monopoly game, sealed, and a Monopoly game, uh, and it sold pretty well. So that's true in the chat, Charlie. Exactly. So for the electronics items, oh, sorry, it's kicking on. Electronics, some broken items still sell well. Broken IMAX, broken Apple products. Uh, if you can get them for the right price, uh, broken PS4s. says, I've got two real authentic PS4 DualShock controllers. Those sell really well. Just double check them. Um, I had Dual Shocks that were switched out for non Dual Shocks. They were still Sony. They just didn't vibrate. So you can see here that here's a, a PS4 controller. But the one I got was uh, it's a Syaxis controller. So it vibr It didn't vibrate. They switched it out. Uh, the person who bought it, I ended up giving a partial refund just because it wasn't. Uh, vibration monopoly yes so board games monopoly anything monopoly pick it up um 
Chris, make a list of good board games and sale and post it. Yeah, I'll, Darren, definitely. It's a great idea. I will post. I'll get my board game list together, at least what does well for me. And then uh, everyone can add to it and what they think does well. Benji, right now I'm doing clothing electronics. And I'm looking to make another category to start. Toys would be great. Uh, and some toys don't sell that well. So if they're only selling for a couple dollars, leave them. Uh, yeah, Adam. Yeah, Adam, Darren, I'll definitely do that. These are still sealed in the retail boxes. Scott, you get some crazy liquidation stuff. Uh, board games. Any electronic handheld games. So you get the uh, the little old school um, travel games. Like I sold Mr. Potato. I sold Mr. Potato Head for about $14, and I got it from the bins. And it was a little electronic game. So if you find those little electronic toys, you can uh, bop it. You find bop it. Those do well. Waiting for Toys R Us to go downhill. Quality product. I'm starting into board games. Nice. Just be careful. So I picked toys. We talked about toys. I picked this up today. Um, someone notated on it. I have to go through it. It's take. But it's French Scrabble. I got it for $2. There you go. Two bucks. French edition. So it's the deluxe French edition. Now keep in mind, this is pretty big. So this is going to be uh, quite, I don't want to say expensive, but it'll probably get, depending where it's going, it's going to get up there, but it will sell for a lot. So just be careful. I'll weigh how quickly things will sell and how big they are to ship. Yeah, it's pretty big. So what I will do is an, an example for this one. Uh, I'm going to wrap this in bubble wrap, and then I wrap it with uh, paper bags. When I sold my other deluxe Scrabble, I did bubble wrap and then uh, grocery shopping bags. Probably about 15 to ship. That's true, Adam. I'm doing some home improvement lots. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not, that's a great category. I'll probably touch on that category later, but tools is a great category. Toys, what else do I look for? Vintage items. So I'll show you this. I got this. I tend to find them in the bins a lot. I find a ton of vintage board games. Vintage board games do really well. So you see this old score four, uh, and it's taped, so I wasn't able to check yet. But even the pieces from vintage board games do well. Hey, Mike, what's up? Uh, but, yeah, score four. And then this one's kind of cool. I did not see any on here. The box, someone took like a uh, um, perforated wallpaper thingy to the front. It's all scratched up. But this old dragon dice game. Dungeon Dice, I should say. There was no year, uh, 1977. It appears to have all the pieces. So old board games will do well. Just depends on which ones you get. So definitely don't give up on board games. Hey, Mike, what's up? Mike, I still owe you a Tim Hortons gift card. So uh, I still need to get that out to you. So don't worry, I didn't forget about you. Uh, board games, vintage items, sporting items. So um, if you think about, I'm trying to think what sporting items I had. Uh, different commemorative items. So different, I mean, they're in the toy section. Like I found an LA Dodgers ball that was still sealed. I sold it for 15 bucks. I think I bought it for two. Uh, so different sports items, like the Bop It we talked, I classify that sports, but uh, different handheld things you can use, things that are still sealed. Uh, I found a Lowe's Pine Derby car that sold for about eight bucks. Uh, of toys, the things to watch out for toys are uh, missing pieces, large bulky items for shipping. Um, but yeah, those are the main things. BB gloves, what are those? So Chris, that 1872 original Clue game I got last week sold for $36, bought it for zero. Ah, nice. Yeah, so definitely look at board games. Uh, board games have done well. I just sent a lap counter fins in the FBA for $69. Wow. Oh, baseball gloves. Yeah, so baseball gloves. That's true, Glenn. If you can find baseball gloves, those do well. I found this at the bins. These go brand new for 10 bucks. I just picked this up. It's not really a toy, but it's a pitch counter. I think I showed you guys this last night, maybe. Um, it, I'm probably put it up for around $7, 70 bucks. Uh, so yeah, definitely uh, sporting good items. That's true. That's what I was looking at. So different um, If you can find certain things like that 
keep an eye out for them, especially if they're logoed. Logoed ones do really well. But again, be wary of weight and bulk when you're thinking about pickings. I left two board games today just because they were so large and the return was probably a couple bucks. I didn't want to go through the hassle of shipping it, so I left it. All right, the next one. The next one is what Deborah talked about earlier. It's clothes. I am this new or this experienced in clothes. So how I'm getting around it is I look for logos. You guys know about logos, the stuff I go for. Um, things I know like uh, sporting goods, um, teams, so professional sports teams, beer, beer items, tools on the logos, on the polo shirts. I like polo, polos a lot. Really, the only polos I'll touch are non-bulky uh, polos. So you think about the wicking ones. I'll buy the wickings with the logo pretty much every time now. Uh, and I'll list them for about 20 bucks. I sold two beer ones last night for $20, a Coors Light and a Heineken Light. And they're, they were pretty much brand new, but I listed as pre-owned. Diesel shipped out three packages of printer ink. Nice. All right, so when I talk about big logo items, and again, I am very new in clothes, so I'm only telling you what I'm doing. Love to hear your thoughts. If I found this Remington at the bins, I listed it for 20. You can see it says Remington on it, size medium. There it is, Remington on the back. So why not? Pick that up. It's got the pocket. So I got that up there. I sold these from last night. I showed you guys these yesterday. These, if you find this brand, I took best offer for 25 bucks. Uh, again, these were pretty much brand new. I got these at the bins. I listed for 29. Uh, they came in at 20 and I best offered 27. Then they came back at 25 and I said, why not? So I sold those. So I looked at the brands. Uh, they had like some gap and express jeans I left. Uh, dealing with clothes, says Benji. I stay away from anything smaller than a large. Okay. See, I'm not, I have any size I pick up. As long as it fits my logo criteria, my big brand criteria, I'll pick it up. Here's one I took a brand. Uh, Mike says, yeah, hunting trap and fishing vests do well. Hunting vest for deer season. Yeah, exactly. So I looked up comps when I, and it was selling all the time. Anyone shipping to FBA? No. But I did pick some stuff up again, so I'm ready to go. Found a Nakamashi 482 for five dollars, sold for 120. Wow, what is it? What is that? Nakamashi. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. All right, so I only took a chance on this because I heard of it, and it was half off. So I said, "Why not?" Um, now it's a Tommy Bahama shirt, size small. You can see right there. It does have the logo on the bottom, kind of worn, but there it is. Usually I wouldn't buy this brand because there's a ton of it out there, but for $2, I said, why not? The vest is so you don't get shot. That is true. So Charlotte, I, I took a chance too. Cassette players, yes. Cassette players do really well. Oh, it is a cassette player. Oh, on a vintage and scene. I've shipped in a couple cassette players. Uh, again, electronics, you get those uh, handheld recorders or mini cassette tapes on the electronics, get those as well. Plus the design, yes. So I'm hoping the design quality product, that would do well. Keep an eye out for a leather shoulder patch used. Oh, okay. So Pac-Man's talking about uh, on the vest when you're holding your gun, right? They're going to have a leather patch right here. So the butt of the gun will rest against your shoulder. Uh, but yeah, I, this is the first one I've ever picked up. Some Nike cassettes do really well. Walkmans, yeah. Sony Walkmans do well. Any Walkmans, really. Um, I at least look them up. If I Any Walkman I find, I look up. This one, if this worked and I can get it clean, this one sells for about $20. It's touchscreen. It's kind of cool, but I don't know who uses the CD players anymore. So clothing, logos, sports, big brand names, college teams. Uh, polo shirts. I always get polo shirts. Jerseys. Any sports jerseys. Depending on the price, sometimes they can list them high. 
like $15, $20, I'll buy them if they're pretty cheap. Just be selective on the polo shirts. For me, uh, I leave anything that's like a local business, uh, unless it's big name. But if it's a local small mom and pop, like a heating, cooling place, I'm not going to touch it. But if it's big national brand name, I'll pick it up. Uh, what else did I get? All right. So military stuff. For clothing, uh, I picked up this military jacket. Again, it's a size small. But check the uh, check in there. It's got the model number on it. I guess model number. but So it's great condition. has all the buttons, no stains. So there you go. I picked the fatigues up. So this is only the top. But yeah, Under Armour hoodie is pretty cool. Scott sold a rare M&M's Nutcracker candy dispenser. 36 bought for five. Wow, that's cool. Uh, what else? Anything? Oh, the only other thing about electronics too. I picked this up. Disc man, if you can find these disc mans and they work, go for it. But this one's missing the back. So if it works. I might pill for one because these don't work. I bought these off at eBay. They don't work. I might try and get the back off of it and replace it with that one. But I don't know. We'll see. So I picked that up at the bins. I just threw it in. I figured why not. What else did I get? So this is the second half. Some of the clothes I showed you I picked up. Like I don't know if this will sell. This is local to Ohio. It's Pelotonia bike shirt. I only bought it because I got it at the bins. Uh, these, so I got some old Fuji film. I didn't look that up. I just threw it in the, the box. Puma case, eyewear. Some of this random stuff I picked up just because I wasn't getting any any good things. Sometimes alarm clocks. And again, oh, this is missing the backing. I didn't realize that. This one's missing the backing, but I just threw it in there with the, I never looked at it. I was supposed to, and I forgot. Uh, what else is, oh, some of these, so if you find any chargers, like some of these chargers, I sold one recently for about $10. I've never heard of this. I'll plug it in and see if it powers on, but um, yeah, look for power chargers, anything really. A lot of these things get left in the bins. No one ever touches them. Look them up. People buy that stuff. Saw a Walkman cassette player and was so beat up I left it. Oh, it was so beat up. Oh, I mean, maybe. Maxell VHS does better than Fujifilm. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, so Max, I picked up a couple. Uh, so uh, Fujifilm sealed cassette or 8 millimeter. It's funny you bring that up because there's a couple I picked up. Oh, there's a Maxell one. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stock up on the sealed ones, and I'll get a bunch of sealed ones and uh, list them all together. Remotes do well sometimes, depending on, since it's Time Warner, depending on what kind of remote you get. I always pick up the Sony ones. Uh, the no-name ones I'll leave. Uh, what else did I get? I didn't look to see if anything, oh, they were all there, but it's Steve Jobs' uh, book. I don't know if all the discs are there, but I, again, I just threw it in there. Anything Uno, you can get all the Uno cards. And again, this is the bin, so I just threw stuff in there. This looks scratched. Disney seen it. DVD. I threw a couple, uh, random CDs or uh, in the cart because I was just going to throw them in my declutter shipment. I'll see if I can get those out. Dish Network, yeah, Dish Network remotes really do well. Random thing I'm probably going to give my kids. That's it, really. I mean, another 8mm uh, Max L. Parts, I mean, parts of board games can do well, but they're going to be longer tail. Sometimes they're worth as much as the board game. Like uh, people, same with the, I found the die to that game. So some people are looking just for that piece. And granted, it's next to nothing, so I picked it up. I needed a, uh, 
cassette case because one of the cassettes I'm selling is busted. So I just threw that in there. I don't even know who that is. Do you know who that is? Thomas Shoemate Choices. Never heard of that guy. I just need the case. Uh, then I thought this was pretty cool. I picked this up for the basement. It's a coaster. Game day pictures. And it has a uh, bottle opener in the back. So I picked that up. All right. So what I missed in the chat. Maxell sell great. Yeah. Puma case is nice and will sell fast. Yeah. So I picked, again, I picked it up for the brand. So I do the same with random stuff as I do with clothes. The disc man's lasted a few months. Any idea if they're worth before anti shock became a marketing gimmick? Uh, I don't know. I mean, depending on the, I've had, I had one that I bought from a Goodwill and I sold it for about $50 on FBA. So if you can find a good disc man that works, it can be worth a lot. Uh, it looked at damaged the board game. Yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. As far as I can, yeah. So, no, no, no. I, I have enough jewelry to sell upstairs. At least not yet. Catherine, watch me buy some stuff next week. Hit up a church sale, $5 for the bag. Nice, Glenn. Dishes in China? No, that's too heavy to ship. I did sell that Tampa Bay Buccaneers cup I showed you two days ago. I sold it for $13. Yeah, Mike, that disc band can sell for a lot. $45 for shipping. Sharp seller, how's it going? But yeah, Catherine, no jewelry. Unless it's something that uh, Goodwills in San Diego aren't that good. Goodwills aren't that good. Uh, sometimes mine's hit or miss. Like you saw that board, the French board game I picked up. I'm going to get that listed. Um, I mean... Again, this was at the bins, and I picked it up, but an old game of life. So there you go. Again, that's kind of big, though. 1985. And a lot of times I find if the, the games are taped, usually they have all the pieces, so it's a safe bet. Uh, let's see what other ones I get here. Pentago. And then when I talk, so toys are also great for Thomas Schmike choices. Is It is about funerals and cremation. Oh, nice. Never say never. That's true. All right, so we talk. I talk about pieces, too, on toys. This game right here, this game does really well. And if you can find all the parts, it sells for about $25 opened. I think I sold the adult version for about 30 but I picked it up strictly for pieces. It's missing all the headbands, but I needed this. So I picked it up for this, the timer, and then it, eventually if I find the headbands again, I have all the cards, and then I have the rules. So I can use some of these come the chips too. So I have another version where I'm missing the timer, so now I can list it. I have everything I need to list that game. And now I just put this over there, and what I will do is I will write on there, and I will stick it to the top, and I'll, it'll tell me what I need. So I just completed my set with this one right here, which is awesome. So that's also how I use the bins is to complete sets or buy pieces. Uh, do you send your games in FBA? No, I do not send. Uh, I sold a very old board game. I sold it Merchant Fulfilled. So I did sell at Merchantfield. I did not send it in. Did you find the missing green thing from the game a few weeks ago? The missing green thing. Uh, oh, the buzzer? Are you talking about the buzzer for Taboo? I did find Taboo with the buzzer, but no, I, did, I haven't found an extra one. I'm trying to remember what the green thing was. I have... Uh, oh, the Simpsons ball. No, I was missing a Simpsons ball. That And that game's pretty... Uh, goes for a bunch. I'm trying to find it. So I'm wondering if I can go on that boardgamegeek.com and they have a link on there where people are looking for pieces. So if I can find that ball, uh, yeah, e busy, you're right. It was the ball that it was missing. So maybe I'll go on there. I haven't found one on eBay yet, but 
Do you have any Skull Candy wireless headphones? No, I do not. I do get them a bunch in liquidation lots, but uh, that's where I get mine from. I only get a few at a time. 85 the year I graduated from high school. <laughs> Nevermore, how's it going? Nevermore, I liked you on that uh, the show today. That was pretty good. I tried to come in and out and watch. Thanks, you busy. Yeah, let me know if you find some. Let me know. I'll hook you up. All right. So that's some of the stuff I got. Like some random things I get. We talk about sealed toys. I got that. Pocket action LCD game. Sealed with the batteries down here. There are absolutely no comps on it, but I just threw it in the cart. said, why not? It's from uh, 1994. So some little random things like that, if they're worth nothing, I'll throw them in the cart at the bins. But a lot of times, too, the liquidation helped me learn about thrifting, and the thrifting is going to help me learn about liquidation. When we talk about learning your brands, that, so a lot of stuff I pick up from thrifting I learned about from liquidation. So... Those routers, the router I picked up for $5 and sold for $80, I would have never touched that brand before. So that's kind of where I think they kind of complement each other. Uh, but yeah, so those are my two big things, right? My three uh, uh, things I look for, electronics right now, toys, and clothes. And then there's a couple other categories. Maybe tomorrow I'll do some more categories. But I will try and put a list out there of board games that I like. Uh, and I will put kind of maybe top to bottom of fasting moving to slowest moving. So you can see, okay, this game moves real fast. Anytime I see it, I'm going to buy it. Versus this one will sell, but it will take a little longer. I just sent Penta board game into FBA. This is my first game. So quality product, I will send in board games if they're sealed and they're worth, uh, they're worth a profit. Like I sent in a um, couple of Trivial Pursuits and Scenics that were sealed. I only send in um, sealed games to uh, FBA. That triggered a brain cell. Yeah, so seen it, uh, the Seinfeld one I sold, and all that. Uh, yes, Adam, I will include. That's a great idea. I will include the website that lists parts. You got it. How'd you find about the empty Dremel case? Uh, well, find out that it's sold. I think I was watching somebody, or uh, I forget why I was. But I just remember someone mentioning that, that the empty cases sell pretty well. Uh, and I just saw it sitting there. So I picked it up. And maybe someone posted something. I can't remember. But, dude, you are in Ohio. I would be scouring for barn finds. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of barns out here. It's crazy. But, yeah, it's true. But that's a lot of wood. It's all heavy stuff. Uh, I think Eric does a lot of the barn stuff. Eric uh, in the chat. I don't know if he's in the chat now, but. It just doesn't, oh, it doesn't seem like my style. I know you're all about reselling pieces of wholesale. Love that, especially game pieces. Yeah, so tools, I mean, that's another category I could say for another day, but I love tools. Tools are just harder to come by, uh, harder to find in bulk. But, uh, yeah, I love tools. Tools are great. Several items from Liquidation Lot, crayons, markers missing, and gel pens. I thought I might lot them together unless someone has a better idea. So what I would do, I'd lot it all together if, like I had those crayons that I sold. I, I sold the crayons all at once. Um, but depending on how many you have, maybe hit a picture, send a picture of how many, uh, what, what you all have, and we can help you give you an idea what you want to do, Charlotte. It's so good to shop at a store that are closing like Kmart or Toys R Us. Storm, so Toys R Us, I mean, you're, getting, you're not getting much off right now, at least. At least where I'm at, it's still 10% off. 30%, but most of the good items, they're going to they're gonna liquidate in bulk, I think. But there's nothing really good there. You're not going to make much. John, going to hit your G sales, 50 keeps me out. <laughs> Depends on the prices. Yeah, that's true. Toys R Us prices are real, still too high. I wouldn't jump yet. I don't even know if there's ever going to be an option to jump because I bet you someone who's liquidating it's going to take it and re resell all of it. Northeast Ohio barns are far and few between. Yeah, so, I mean, Central, there's quite a few barns, but to your point, I mean, you're going to have to drive a little bit out into the country. So at least in the outskirts of Columbus to find barns. So, all right, everybody. That's all I had for tonight. If you liked it, hit the like button. Uh, what? Oh, 
keep you guys posted Saturday. Keep it, uh, put this on your calendars. Saturday, we're going to do another liquidation.com uh, code giveaway. So uh, make sure you stay tuned uh, for Saturday. We'll to give a code out. That's, uh, I forget what it is, 20 or $25, I forget. But uh, we'll give another uh, discount code away to someone for the month of April. So we did our March, now it's uh, our April code's up. So come over for Saturday, hang out, we'll give a code away. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Uh, I will start that board game list, and if whoever wants to add to it, let me know. Talk to you guys later. See ya.